Hey everyone, my name is Grape Applesauce. Welcome back to another episode of the Cube SMP. Today I'm here at the spawn. We got a couple new things to show you guys at the spawn area. But also I want to do something uh, over at the... Okay, that's the wrong way. Over there <laughs> at the Cubeplex. I want to finish the cubicle today, but first I have some things to do around spawn. Um, so if I just go ahead and check this chest, you guys know all this money I made here. But I do want to go ahead and grab... Okay, I already have it in my inventory. Uh, this efficiency 4 pick because my other pick sadly finally broke. And we need to move on to a new pick. So I need to go to Parker's shop. But first, before I go there, I need to check profits. Because I believe I made a lot, and I mean a lot, of sales. So I should have a lot more gold coming in here. Uh, we have Clifford as usual being his goofy loud self. That is not Clifford. That is a prank. <laughs> it was pretty funny though. Straba uploaded that. So yeah, we sold some quartz. Let's go ahead and check that. 21 gold blocks. That's what I like to see. Awesome. Alright, so there's 21 there. And then we can go check my wither shop. See if we sold any there. There's a couple new shops here. I'll get to those in a little bit. But first, I need to go ahead and count my gold here to know how much I have. Because I think at this point, I'm getting a little bit richer. I wouldn't say I'm like in the top like three richest on the server. But maybe in the top five. I don't know. Because uh, transferring my diamond blocks was a good idea. I got me a lot more stuff. Uh, diamonds, yep. So I sold six of these, I believe. There should be 60 in here. Yep, so 60. That is 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 81, I believe. Probably wrong. I'm not the best at math. I don't really feel like sitting here and making a weird face while I try and actually add this up. So, we'll just go ahead and put this back. We'll see how much I have, but we'll go to Parker's shop first, actually. Um, please tell me he has Unbreaking 3. I haven't really checked this place out recently. Uh, so, he might not have Unbreaking 3. Oh, he's selling picks in here now. Nine gold. Silk. Efficiency. Unbreaking 3, okay. 10 blocks for Unbreaking 3. Ripping a hole in my budget, Parker. You're ripping a hole in my budget, but that's okay. We'll pay the, we'll pay the dues. We'll pay the dues. Pay here. Take my gold blocks. Alright, so now that we have that, we're going to combine this on my pig axe to get us a nice... Did I seriously already use it? When did I use it? Oh yeah, I did use it. There we go. Now we have that. Efficiency 4 on breaking 3. We should be good on that. We'll be able to use it to mine now because I didn't have one before. Yeah, that's a lot of stuff there. Yeah, I, have my, I need to organize my end chest. But I usually start keeping all my food in here now because I really need some extra food. Uh, just lying around Depth Strider 3. I'm going to need to use that as well. Make a nice aquatic suit. Maybe I'll do that next episode when I go... Search for a uh, sea temple because I know we did one as a group, but I kind of want to do one on my own and give you guys a more like more of an experience of just me doing it myself. I don't know. I'm weird like that. Let's go ahead and replace that. Shouldn't be getting any more purchases on Soul Sand because I think somebody's selling it for cheaper, but it doesn't really mind me. I'll leave it like that. So the new thing that spawned, we'll actually grab some gold because I may need to buy some stuff. As you saw in my end chest, I don't have too much food left. It's just these three stacks. So I'll grab like 28. And we'll go shopping with this. Uh, I believe Straub Shop is new. I need to check that out. There's also Kermit's Cake Shop. Which is new. Um, it's not over here. Yep. Okay, here's the cake shop. I don't need to buy a cake, I don't think. Um, I'll just check it out anyway. Let's see the price on this. One gold block for three cakes. Actually, that's not a bad deal. So there's all the cakes here. I believe these all sold out. No, no, we're good. So yeah, I don't really need a cake, but that is a cool shop. This is the shop I wanted to check out. Look, my nose is really itchy right now. This is Straub's Wholesale. I can't really read this sign. Straub's Whole Straubco Wholesale Food Happy Base. So we're gonna be buying some food. We got chicken and pie. Uh, one line equals nine stacks. Like one line of this, or like. One line down. One line. Oh, nine stacks. Okay. So if I want nine stacks of steak, it's going to cost me 12 gold blocks. So I'll just do that because I really need some steak. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 
Wow, that is a great deal. Here you go. I'll gladly take all that. Is it not going down? Ah, uh, straw, it's a trap chest, so it only goes when it's closed. Yep. <laughs> okay. So we got all this. <laughs> oh my gosh, that's a lot of food. I don't think I'll be needing food anytime soon. So I'm going to go ahead and store this in my vault. And some of that in my ender chest. Actually, I'll store it all in my vault for now. I need to actually go make something out of my vault. I probably will do that pretty soon here because my vault, not the best. I mean, I could make it better. Actually, here on the left, we have the potion shop, but it is now new and improved because that one tomahawk is the new owner and he completely redid this entire thing. So it's no longer just this room here. You walk down here, you have all kind of potion ingredients and uh, it's pretty much automated. So I had him explain this a little bit to me. Pretty much you just flick these levers here and uh, for whatever potion you want in the order and it will put everything in here once you press the button it'll put it here and you pretty much just pay two gold ingots each potion so I think that's an awesome deal and I really think this is cool how automated this is I think that's awesome so what I wanted to make though is a night vision potion I will be using it soon so we're just gonna go ahead and do that and do uh, increase duration we'll do the redstone and we should be able to press the button and it will brew the potion let me check the progress okay there we go oh that's so cool okay so that'll brew and then when it's done it'll come down here let me get the gold ingots ready so three times two is six oops so we owe him six for that we'll just go ahead and pay for that now potions are two gold ingots each we will pay for six, or three rather. This is awesome, I love this. I wish I had one of these on my own. That's awesome. Please tell me that's gonna make the right potion though. I've not made a night vision in a long time, but I'm pretty sure it's just a golden carrot. Then redstone to increase its time. Okay, yeah, that's gonna be right. Awesome, I love this place. Tomahawk has done good with this. He has done awesome with this. So we're just going to wait for that, and then I also need to kind of work on my bank a little bit. Change it up, add some more chests in there. So this should be done. We'll see where all these potions go here. Should get taken out. And there we go. That's all there is to it. That's awesome. That's a great shop. Definitely repeating my business here because I'm going to need to buy uh, some water breathing potions pretty soon as well so that's awesome I'm gonna go ahead and head over to my vault I don't think I have everything I need to go ahead and uh, revamp it a little bit here so I will just be right back so I'm here at my vault <laughs> I, I keep saying vault because of Straub's vault over here he put the U before the A and uh, I'm gonna revamp mine to look a little bit like this not necessarily as over the top as this one is but he has his stuff pretty organized in here. Um, <laughs> as I say, that is a completely unorganized chest. But he's got a lot of room in here, and I needed to take advantage of that. And I've already started just a little bit on the room here. I have just kind of stuff thrown in, except I have food organized in that one. But I'm going to go ahead and uh, just start placing chests along the wall. Oh, that's not going to work. I'm going to need um, to buy. Not buy. I need to make some trap chests as well. But for now, I'll leave it like this. this. is not a big deal to me. We'll just stack these up. And I should have more than enough room now to uh, store all my goodies here because uh, when I do projects and stuff around spawn, it'll take a lot less time uh, to do it like this. There we go. So we have that situated. I also need to make some crafting tables in here. I could put it in hopefully the floor. That shouldn't be too big of a deal. I will need an ender chest as well, which I don't have. I have not really even made one. So that's kind of awkward. We're going to need some furnaces. I guess I could just use all my cobble there. Furnaces in between. Uh, these back two. Yeah, that'll work. And then I'll put some along the floor. I'll put two there. That should be good. Put an ender chest there. And then the crafting table here. Oh, yeah, that'll be good. That'll make this a lot more, like, worth my money. <laughs> Because it wasn't really worth my money before the way I was using it, but now I think it'll definitely be worth my money. So we'll just put potions in that top one there that I'll be using. I'll be able to smelt stuff and <laughs> yes. Okay, so that is good for me. I think that chest is placed backwards. Yes, it is. While you do this, 
Give me that back. There we go. Cool. Okay. So now that the vault is settled, I don't really know how often we need to make payments on this. I think it said once a month. I don't remember the last time I paid for this. So I might do it now. And let's see if it's still seven gold blocks or seven diamonds per month. I don't really remember the last time I paid it. I'm going to look on my video and make sure before I just pay this before it's necessary. So I believe that's good. I got everything I wanted to do here at spawn. I checked out all the shops. I was able to revamp my vault, make it a little bit better. Still need to do a little bit of work on it, but for the most part, it's done. And I believe now I can go ahead and get started on the cubicle. I don't have all the uh, resources necessary to finish it just yet. So I'll go, uh, bleh, go ahead and collect those, and I'll be right back. Hello, Kevin. Hello, grape applesauce. How's it going? Oh, Ooh, thank you. I'm actually pretty hungry. Oh, you took it back. Never mind. I'm going to eat my pizza. Anyways, I brought you here today, Kevin. I want to show you the cubicle. It's still in oh, progress. Yeah. And I, right. I'm going to give you the honors of the first person to choose a cubicle besides this one. This one's mine. Oh, this one? Yeah, this one's mine. So you can choose okay. any of these. And pretty much what I want to do is have this like a community area where everyone can okay. customize their own little cubicle however they want. Ah. I'm going to have a break room and stuff like back here. And uh, we're going to do some stuff out here. I don't know. I think it'll be a cool little what? community project here. I yeah, don't know what really, you were thinking. That's really awesome. What is this again? The, the this will be the break room with like uh, refrigerators and like oh, food and stuff. I see. To take breaks. And I then, see. So like coffee and stuff yep. like that. Chips. Yeah. Pretty cool. What about this big space right here? I'm not quite so sure much. what I want to do with it. Maybe I was going to put like a conference room with like a bunch of tables uh, or a table a around idea. a bunch of chairs. Good idea. Yeah. I, I might do, do that. Over. And then... There's these cubicles here. I don't have enough for everybody, so it's like first come, first serve. But I'm gonna do chart or give these away for free. So just go ahead and choose whatever one you'd like besides that first uh, one. I'm gonna take this one. Can I take this one? This one. Yeah, go ahead. One. So also, torch. I was thinking, what do you think about like the design itself? Because I was like contemplating. I want it to look kind of modern, but at the same time, like traditional. If you want it to look modern, uh, you're gonna have to use quartz. Oh, thank you. <laughs> And I run the quartz shop. I I don't know. I kind of like the andesite because the floor like is white, kind of quartz-ish. Right. And then the andesite and then the stone slabs. I think it looks pretty good. I don't know. Okay. Think what you well, think? I don't know. It looks good to me right now. It looks very traditional. It looks pretty great. Uh, just go ahead and put your sign here. Where it just right here there. on this wall. All right. Yep. So and you can call it Kevin's cubicle. Plus. Dash. Heavens. Everyone's equal doing that, that equal dash plus equal dash or whatever. Yeah. Yeah, I did it on here. And uh, now it's just a trend. Did you do it? Where's yours? Here we go. I did it right here. Yep. Yeah. I the saw. cubicle. <laughs> and then now so it's Kevin's cubicle. You could do whatever you want with that. And uh, as long as you're not going into other people's places. It's not so, okay if I go into like, your place right here. And yeah, you can, you can trash mine. You could put... Uh, sticky notes everywhere, you know, that a prank, the good old office prank there. Break it. There you go, that's the office prank. I gotta put that back because that was mean, I'm so sorry. <laughs> oh, it's okay, I thought you broke the big chest for a second, I was like, you did <laughs> not just do that. <laughs> uh, you didn't actually have all this stuff, but I actually don't want it, so I'm just gonna... Oh, okay, there. okay. So well, that's cool, right? So let's do... Hmm... I'm still trying go. to think how. I, do you have any glass on you by chance, like stained uh, glass? Yeah, I do. Like white uh, stained no, glass. I have regular glass, but I also oh. have bone meal. I think right here. Oh, perfect. Put in here. So it's right here. Just come right here, and I'll drop it. Yeah. There you go. So I'm kind of thinking of building this conference room. Like, let's put that. I think that's right. Yeah, it is. Okay. Kevin's inside of my head. Drop the bone meal, buddy. I did. Yeah, you did. This is like a see-through conference room. Yeah, yeah. So and then we'll do. Uh, we'll keep. Do you have? I don't have my silk touch thing here. Oh well. I do. I do. Here Oops. you go. Take that. Something like you. this. Oops. And I work at a place where I see cubicles, so I'm trying to base it off of like how I've seen it in real life. Your your job. Yeah. So That's let's. Awesome, man. Here, try to close that off or something. This looks awesome, dude. 
Dang. You're lying to me, Kevin, aren't you? No, this, look, this really does look awesome. And we'll now do something that can there. Here. This table's probably have to gonna go against the wall or something. And yeah, we're gonna have to do this as well, so that's not showing. Oh, because the, the, the conference room is very, very private. <laughs> I mean, it's private and open at the same time, as you can see. Yeah, I mean, you could see the from the outside the other corporations that are going to be stealing from the cubicles. Uh, conference moves, they, they're they going to be looking through here. Like all the creepers, they'll be they'll uh -huh. be checking up on us. So Dang, man. Be sure to be know. careful. Hopefully, hopefully business does well. Conference I know. I'm room. glad to have you as a worker, Kevin. I'm glad oh, you man. choosed out your cubicle here. I am. I'm gonna get my uh, my pens and papers all ready. And it's my, back to um, school for Kevin. My pencil sharp. It's back to school day, everyone. Back to all right. School. Thanks, Kevin, for joining me. I'm gonna finish this off and uh, yeah, enjoy your cubicle. Thanks, buddy. I appreciate it. Bye bye. Kevin. Hi. What's up, Greg? Why are you Why are you coming at me with that sword? Dude, I'm sorry. I, I gave just... you a free cubicle, and now you're just gonna kill me with a sword? Like, come Here. on. Nah, I'm not gonna do oh, that. Oh, thank you. Buddy. I need some mob drops. You're welcome. Thank you. I, but, you know, the day that you build your cubicle is the day I also build my staple center. Oh, staple center. Are we talking like actual staples or like the store staples? Like actual the store staples. <laughs> the actual staples, the store. <laughs> yes. Okay, I got it. So, let's see. Is this it right here? This is it. This is looking pretty good, Kevin. Wow, you did you this like yourself. It. I did. This is you pretty like good. Yeah, I mean, you are touching this shop right here, but I don't That's think okay. I don't I'm think they'll really. mind. So no. you could shoot an arrow right between. Yeah, I don't know if we can. But it's a good see. question. Yeah. No, yeah. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> it's good so. then. Clear the test. Okay. What do you think about it? Do you like it? Like we're I think this is good. Are you doing the cashier spot like right here? I could see it right here. Yeah, I think I am. So like, I don't know, like this. Something, Something. like that. Yeah. And then like coming up right there. Oh what yeah. You, you gotta make yeah. the cashier always taller than the customer to make them seem superior. Right. In the exactly. end, always. the end, the customer is always right. Don't forget that. Unless you're playing Minecraft. <laughs> yeah, unless you're playing <laughs> Minecraft on Kevin's Staples store. Right. So So what are yeah. you planning on selling here? Um paper. Oh, paper. Okay. Yeah. That's like it. paper, that's it? Just paper? Just just paper. What this do you got an upstairs for? Uh more paper. <laughs> you're gonna have paper like growing from the, the ceiling or what? Um no paper is growing. What? Kevin died. Give me your paper. Pickpocket, ready? All right, we'll take his thing. What the heck? Great. Right. Yep. You lagged out. Oh, okay. What, okay, what you Kevin, you idea? were talking about some sort of paper before you lagged out. Go on. Uh-huh. So, I, I want to sell, like, paper, books, books and quills. Oh, yeah, I book and quill would be nice because I'm too lazy to get ink sacks to make those, so. Kevin! Kevin! You should open a magic shop. You're Houdini right now. Oh, why? <laughs> there he is. Uh oh. Oh, hello, Houdini. You were I'm floating on air. You should open a magic shop. There you go. I'm, I'm lagging out. I don't know what's going on. It's my so, connection. Yeah, so that's pretty much all you're going to sell. I will be a customer because I actually need some of that stuff. And I'll probably be, honestly, because Kermit has the uh, trading thing, I have yet to show on my channel. But I'll probably mm -hmm. come here and buy a ton of paper and bring it over there and trade for emeralds. Yeah. That's a good idea. Yeah, yeah, let's do that. I'll do that. Awesome. Thank you so much, Greg. Yeah, no problem. All right, so after showing Kevin his cubicle, I have actually done a lot of work on this place to make it look really good. I think it's pretty much done. If you guys have any suggestions, be sure to let me know. But we're just going to go ahead and head in. I still haven't customized my own thing. I don't really know what I want to do with it yet. This is Kevin's here. He's the only other one who's claimed one. And then you walk in here. I tried to replicate, like, the cube logo onto, like, the carpet here. It's not really the right dimension, so it looks kind of weird, but... I think it'll be good enough, and we have a little bit of uh, areas for water. I'll end up putting some um, 
some uh, water bottles in there to make it look a little bit better. And then we have the conference room. Back over here, we can discuss whatever we need to discuss in this room here. It looks pretty cool from the view. And uh, back here is Grazer's janitor closet. I mean, I thought this would be pretty funny. I'll probably put chests and stuff in there just to store stuff. Then in here, we have the break room. Pretty proud of this room. Uh, we have the bookshelves and stuff like that. We have the refrigerator right here. Can do whatever. You could open this. It's going to actually toggle that too. Oh, well. Yep, stuff like that, so that's pretty cool. We have the furnaces here. People can cook up their food. You can sit here, look at the view of uh, Clifford the Ghast over there. Somehow I can't, like, go down in this crevice, so I might have to move the chairs back. or Pretty much just for show, but people can stand here and look out the window, stuff like that. You can prepare your food over here and whatnot. I think it's pretty cool. I'm really liking this so far. I think this will be a cool little fun role-playing kind of activity place we have with the cubicle. And, uh, yeah, I think that's about it. It's about complete. Let me know if you have any suggestions down below in the comment section. Now, uh, yeah, I'll let people know that they can start claiming their little cubicles. They can do whatever they want with these. Uh, yeah, other than that, be sure to leave a like if you enjoyed today's episode of The Cube. And I will see you all in the next episode. Thank you all for watching. Goodbye.